Y'all girls had a shot with me. Would y'all take it? Oof. See, this is why I never asked the internet anything, because they are going to make me look a fool. Hey, 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 what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to MK. I know it hasn't been a while, but it sure feels that way. I'm your host, Robin, and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash sad cringe. Oh, boy. Without much further ado, let's get right in there and see just how sad and cringe it truly is. Ladies and gents, I just made out with a girl. It was a Redditor in our chat, and yes, that counts. 11 out of 10, would recommend, would do again. Uh, wait, in Reddit or real life? In Reddit. She lives away from me, so chat is all we got. What? I mean, I understand RP, I guess, but... Is that what you did? Did you guys roleplay making out, or is there something else that you did that I have never heard of before? Because I'm so curious. My boyfriend proposed wrong. Oh, sh Egg. Oh, this is gonna be bad. He's in the Air Force, and he proposed to me in front of an airplane. I was so embarrassed because that's pathetic. I asked him nicely if he can propose to me somewhere normal, like on the beach. He said he was extremely sorry, and he will propose to be better next week. I'm so embarrassed. Anyone else have any embarrassing proposal stories to make me feel better? Woo! I'm getting a little mad. I'm not even sad about this one. I'm mad. Update. He proposed to me today. He took me out to a fancy seafood restaurant, and then we went on a walk down to the beach, and then he popped the question. We're going to have our wedding very soon so I can get the benefits. I love him so much. Yeah, it sounds like you do, sweetie. Edit. Most of y'all have misunderstood this post, so let me make this a little bit more clear. I am not marrying him for the benefits. Most military couples get married quick because it makes the relationship easier. And I'm Obviously, we know what we- Egg. it, I don't care. I don't care. You're- you- oh, I'm so flustered I can't even get a thought out. Holy Egg. My guy, leave. Leave now. Alvin, 23. Hi, is your name Megan? If yes, well, today's your lucky day. Here, you have the chance to possibly meet your soulmate. I had a mystic reading two years ago, and I was told my soulmate's name was Megan, so I took it upon myself to prepare for the future and start the crazy adventure to find her. Disclaimer, larger Megans need not apply. Thanks. You already got the name tattooed on yourself? Also, larger Megans need not apply? <laughs> Crow the f Egg. up. Feel bad for this admin, but I'm just new here. All right, let's see. At everyone, guys revive server for my birthday present on the 24th, thanks. Oh, he's just adding everyone all the time. Damn, y'all don't seem to care. At least wish me a happy cake day. Y'all mad stupid for not being active, for real. <laughs> wow. Spent 500 pounds on a mobile game in three months and still can't win. All right, let's see. Don't get me wrong, this game is pretty awesome and I've really enjoyed playing this for nearly three months now. Until the devs messed it all up when merging servers. I've spent nearly 500 pounds playing this game, which at the time I thought was well spent on something I've really been enjoying, but when the servers were merged, instead of merging servers that opened around the same time, they merged servers where if you weren't in the earlier server, you will be up against people on average two to three times your power. So from going from, in my case, third, you are now somewhere in the hundreds, making it pointless and spending money on this game. So my advice is to play the game, but is it worth it? But don't, but what is wrong with you? Holy crap, I can't read the, you know what? Stop spending money on mobile games, knock it off. Hello, hi, who is this? I lost some contacts. This might sound very creepy, LOL. Uh oh, I'm pretty sure I just saw you at blank and you were getting your eyebrows done right before me. Remember, I memorized your number when you gave it to the lady. I'm sorry, you are very pretty. I apologize, I work with numbers for a living and it kind of stuck in my head. I'm actually a nice guy. Oh, block, 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 motherfucker. I walked in on my ex getting her cheeks clapped, so I tried to fight the guy. He ended up beating my ass so bad I Egg. shit on myself. And as he was leaving, he told her, text me after you clean Egg. sh** boy up. They're married with two kids now. Well, at least you know that while that was an embarrassing situation, that they're both pieces of Egg. garbage. You're not, though. Friends in a group chat abruptly leave. All right, let's see. <clears throat> we are going to DC on Saturday to drop blank off. We will be back Sunday night or maybe Monday if she needs more help. O-M-H? She's starting her dorm life finally. Good! <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah, the party is coming together, meow. Yeah, everybody just left? Man, that kind of sucks. Do you think they made one without you all of a sudden? My friend's photo wall. 
One of my best friends, whom I've known for over 20 years, finally moved into her own apartment. She invited me over to check out her new place, and I noticed this huge wall that was completely covered in printed photos of her family and friends. I took a good look trying to find one with the two of us, but there weren't any. When I jokingly pointed that out, she nervously tried to explain herself, and I quickly changed the topic to get over the awkwardness. I love her very much, and I know I'm not the prettiest person on Earth, but damn, this really hit me. I, I, mm, yeah, I understand it. Not from her perspective. I definitely understand why it hurts. I don't know anybody that wants a photo of me, dude. Like, <laughs> come on. Sometimes you just don't take photos very well. I think I've taken four okay ones in my life, but I'm pretty bad at it. I'm like Chandler Bing bad at it. My dog died, and I wanted to vent about it. This is the only fucking thing my friend had to say about it. I don't even know what to do. My dog just fucking died. Good. She has cancer, and we didn't even know it. We had to put her down. At least she doesn't have to be around you anymore. Good for her. Wow. I was genuinely not expecting that. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that, dude. Holy hell. I'm kind of reeling from that. Whew, I really hope you didn't waste too much time on speaking to this person. And if you did, just move the hell on and forget they ever fucking existed, bro. Do you miss her or do you miss the unprotected sex and the cuddling after sex and the way she'd look at you with love in her eyes and make you feel like you were enough, like you mattered? How her, oh God, how her hair smelled or how her body fit yours perfectly. Oh God, how did I let her go? It hurts. That is a lot of likes and retweet action going on there. That sucker doing numbers. Not me about to send this tweet to my ex and finding out she has me blocked. LMAO, please take the pain away. Why would you send that to her? Why would you do that? You know, I don't know the full situation. Obviously, a lot of this stuff comes without any context included in the box, but this just seems very, very strange. I wouldn't dream of sending anything like this to an ex. Why the f were you considering that anyway? So are you free at six? Yes, don't mind me asking, but can you send a mirror pic? I couldn't tell how tall you are from your Tinder. I'm 5'11". I'm used to being with taller guys. My old boyfriend could literally carry you around like his little chihuahua. Thanks, Rachel. Uh, okay? Why do I give a Ugh. shit about what your old boyfriend could do? Furthermore, why do people think that this is appropriate to say to anybody? Do you want to date me? No. Fine. I'll wait a hundred years if I have to. I'll be dead by then. Ah, okay. Prize open your casket. Please don't. You don't look too bad. Lifts you carefully from the mahogany burial box. You need a shower. Bathes you. All clean now. Winky, smiley face. Get the f*** uh, out. This is sick. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a vampire desperately. It's my one and only dream. If anyone knows one or how to become one, let me know, please. Okay, who's gonna break it to him? I don't think it can be me. I don't think I can break it to him. I don't, uh, where are we gonna send this person to become a vampire? Scottsdale? They're not even valuable for their reproductive capabilities if you think about it. You can easily store and freeze a massive amount of sperm in a facility to satisfy the entirety of the female species. It makes you wonder what men are even there for. Some of them aren't even good for their eggs. They've even ruined them with porn sickness and the death grip. <laughs> What's the death grip, dude? LMAO, they even ruin the one thing they're good at. It never fails with men. They're so disappointing as a species. Their whole beings are mutations. <laughs> look, look, listen, look, listen, listen. Men are stupid, right? Listen. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. This is just how some people talk, I guess. Hey, I'm wondering if there's any possibility that you could work my five to close tonight? I was up all night with insomnia and probably shouldn't be driving today. I know it's short notice and you can say no, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Who is this? Blank. I would if I also didn't stay up all night too. My wife left me for some guy 10 years younger than her and took his virginity. Like what the f Egg. I can't even leave my bedroom. We haven't talked all week. <laughs> oh man, TMI, who the Egg. f asked, but that's quite a funny Egg. response. Egg. Well, I'm gonna go ask someone else then. Uh, sucks that happened though. PS5 time schedule. Okay. Foot rub is 30 minutes of playing time. Back rub is 40 minutes of playing time. 
Cook dinner is one hour of playing time. No online. Take out trash. One game of 2K only. You're Egg. shitty anyway. Clean the house. Two hours playing time. Must take 30 minute break for affection. Unlimited playtime on Sundays only. No playtime on holidays. If violation of this schedule occurs, your PS5 will be sold to Smart Pawn on Troost? Okay, the only way that I can survive the rest of my day is just telling myself this isn't real. But deep down there's a part of me that believes that it is 100% real. Something is very believable about this. If it is real, my friend, please for the love of God, leave. This relationship clearly ain't f uh, worth it. It's not. I don't know what you're gonna say. Oh, you'd really choose the PS5 over the wife? Th this ain't your wife. This is some uh, psychopath uh, shit right here. As if you get to threaten to sell my uh, shit. Find another weed guy. I can't f uh, with you. Uh, I'm nothing personal. I can't fall in love right now and you're everything I love. So if I ever see you again, I'll never let go of your hand. So yeah. Didn't f uh, ask. Just letting you know, dude. That's not their f uh, problem. And you're not allowed to make it their problem. It's all you, guy. I'm more sad than ever. I met a woman, poggers, but she doesn't talk to me. About me, I want a girlfriend. I'm lonely, stupid, kinda annoying, really annoying and ugly. I'm gonna make that my Discord bio right now. Sometimes I miss her. Sometimes I'm just plain scared. Memorable words by my ex. I will cut your dick off. Get it transplanted on my vagina and pee on you with it. But you sent it? If she sent it, the text bubble would be on the other side. <laughs> God, dude, come on. Always remember, if you even somewhat enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, well, make sure to get yourself subscribed and click that bell icon. And if you're feeling super generous, why not check out my links in the description down below? I'd love to have you around. And until next time, I'll catch you later.